This whole video is dedicated to Bailey Jenkin Williams, mate, who's been put in an induced coma. He's 12 years old, okay? Listen, Bailey, look at you, mate. Look at you rambling it every second of the bloody day, okay? When you fit and up, out of bed and all that sort of stuff, mate, let me know, and um, I'm going to send you, like, maximum merch, okay? For free. Well, it's not. It's going to be for free. <laughs> I'm going to send you some stuff, merch and whatnot. And uh, big shout out to you, mate. Keep strong, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sci. How the devil are you? Oh, my goodness gracious me. This has been the, th the longest three weeks that I've ever had to experience because MindCTV uploaded a video called Ouija Board at Devil's Tree Insane Activity Paranormal Card on Camera. <laughs> Mate, make sure you go for their channel, subscribe, and do the thing. I'm looking forward to this, mate. A lot of people have tagged me in on it, okay? It's about we bloody Ouija boards, mate. Don't do Ouija boards, because this is what's going to happen, mate. Without further ado, Dark Diddly Day, let's do this. Shh. Go on, my CTV. Oh. The Devil's Tree, located in South Florida, is tied to one of the most horrendous crimes known. Over a dozen women's bodies were found at the site, left by the hands of Florida's first serial killer. He was one of Florida's first serial killers ever. Oh yeah, it's fucking dark. Okay, this is, um, I, I put the comedy voice on, sort of like, you know, but, uh, this is actually quite damn serious. Right there, that's for sure. Dude, that's gotta be it. Look how fucking big that thing is. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, highly requested in uh, uh, in investigation. <laughs> oh, it's funny, yes? Are you the cop? Are you the sheriff that was harming all these young women out here? Oh, mate. Let's go! My scene TV is on another level. Join me and you and them at freaking Tiki Times. My CTV. <laughs> the devil's tree let's go i get so i get so fucking hyped for this i fucking do man i don't know what it is about mind seed tv but they're fucking awesome let's go shush shush how you feeling good, good. mate thanks I'm right uh, uh, before we get into it right i've emailed you now like twice right mind seed tv come on the bloody Come on the bloody podcast. Let's go. Come on the bloody podcast. All right. Been this for a long time. Yeah. You know? When we went out to film this investigation, we really didn't intend on this uh, making it to the channel. We thought we were going to do this investigation for the patrons because on the Patreon page, tons of people have been emailing and requesting us to do an investigation on the Devil's Tree. Oh look at that. Oh yeah. Beware of gators. Big alligators. It says. I mean, you wouldn't imagine with this. Oh, oh my! Show them the crap. Well, here, let me give them a little spin around. So, we're right next to a canal, and uh, the reason that we're out here, honestly, is just to investigate some rumors that we've heard about this tree called the Devil's Tree. Mm. Uh, I like the color grading on it. It's nice, mate. Sapia, sapia, sapia. Um, just to document it, just to see what's going on with it. We could see the weather forming, and we were like, "It's Florida. It rains for like." an hour every single day, maybe it's fine. But as we got closer, it just got more and more. Is that true? In Florida, it rains every day for an hour? Wow. That's great. That's, that, that's great. How you can like, yeah, it's gonna rain in about, yeah, it's going for about an hour, like clockwork? What the hell? Severe, the thunderstorm started. This haunted tree where all these horrible things happen to these women. Um, it's fucking pouring rain though right now. It's like gonna pour rain. <laughs> so we decided to travel light we didn't really bring like the s1h and all the heavy light equipment and microphones we figured you know what this is just gonna kind of be like a run and gun we brought a few tests with us in the backpack 
some cell phone cameras rolling, and that was it. We wanted to come out here while it was still a little bit of uh, daylight left, just so we could find where the actual tree is. So it's about 6 p.m. right now, and the heavens just decided to open up, so. Um, adds to the bloody theatrical, mate, adds to it. Theatrics, even. You got your toy? Yeah. All right, cool. Been out here for like 15 minutes. And I'm literally covered in water. Yeah. You know, it is raining. <laughs> Accumulation. Swim it, mate. Swim. Hunt down the bloody crocodile. Rambo it. I think there's got to be an entrance that's that's bigger than that. The article that we read said there's like a big cut, but uh, see, it's like a change in the if we don't find the tree uh -huh. by like complete nightfall, we might have to come back. Hey, you awake in there? What is it? There's a turtle, either dead or sleeping in his hole. Uh, oh, what? I think this might. He's chilling. Oh yeah, hey, this might be the thing here. Yeah. Maybe. Oh mate, what? Alright, well before we go crawling under all these sticks, right. let's just check to see if there's another And they've got t-shirts and shorts on as well, mate. Ramble mate, let's go. Alright. Another way in. Yeah. And that shit right there, all that grass pushed down, is a hundred percent a fat gator trail. Gators must use this area coming in and out. Fucking mate, it's a different world, man, to the UK. It really is a different world. The grass that he slides. Oh, if it lies, we get badgers. Yeah, <laughs> that's the most hardcore thing that we get, right? Is badgers making little uh, lines like that? Not plenty alligators. <laughs> that's a fat fucking gator. How is it that the universe knows every time that we're doing something outdoors or filming just to fucking piss all over us? Yeah. It helps, mate. It helps. Maybe. I think that might be it. I mean, we should try it out. I mean, it's out of its path. People have been down it. Yeah. Can you, uh, you want to grab this guy for a sec? Sure. I just wanted to get in front with the flashlight so I could see where we're going. Mm. Let's go ahead and walk it. It is really, it's really it's quite tropical back here. It's coming down now. Oh, Jesus. man. It looks so damn good, mate. I, I've got to go to the United States of America, baby. I've got to. Oh, yeah, it's fucking dark back here. Don't yeah. Sundown. We knew that we had to get there before it was too dark because we wanted to be able to find the actual devil's tree. Even with like a little break in the canopy. It feels like a Blair Witch Project type uh, video going on, doesn't it? Yeah, I feel like I'm in the movie Congo right now. You ever see that movie? I feel like I'm in the movie Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Tropic Thunder, mate. Bloody brilliant. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I can drop it. <laughs> oh, God. So damn good, that bloody film, mate. <laughs> right. I can't stop thinking about Tropic Thunder now. Mm hmm. We should do more vlogs. This is like Benny Predator. I mean, I definitely... I like not being fucking on edge the whole fucking time. But yeah, <laughs> and I'm sure you don't mind not having the fucking 10 pound camera equipment on your shoulder the whole time either. Yeah, that's nice too. What is this? Right? Is this a berry? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna rocking the Vulcan, oh, mate. Uh, rocking the Vulcan. I don't believe it. Yeah. Those are, um... Those are, um, cherry quads. I don't think so. They're definitely not. That sounds like <laughs> bullshit to me. I mean, fuck, even if nothing happens at the tree, uh -huh. this is a cool experience. Oh, I know. Sure. Yeah, know? man. 
Like how many times do you get to tell people, yeah, I went like hiking. Yeah. It must be tough to do investigations all the time, man. Getting this, getting the, the shit scared out of you every single time. It must be tough. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to like, you know, particularly this rumor, like really yeah. carrying through, holding true for something. I'm just trying to enjoy the ride. Yeah, I've never seen it. I've never seen it before. I mean, we've heard about it from fucking... Oh, you guys should go do this. You have to try that. Out. Yeah. yeah. Plus, it's kind of a relief. Like, usually we're in the middle of fucking nowhere mm -hmm. to be on a nature trail. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It, it, it is Jesus Christ, mate. You want to be leaving some breadcrumbs or something or fucking, like, get, uh, have you got a compass? I'd be lost to fuck if I was in that play place. It's pretty rural over here, though. Yeah. There was one point. I thought it was a howl. That we were just walking along the trails and the paths and we heard this really loud, like, shriek. The only thing that makes it not rural is the canal, because the canal opens up, it's not from some trees. Oop. That was weird. Yeah. It was bloody weird. To me, it sounded like a large bird of some sort. The only thing that could have made that type of noise, but we're talking like this was loud. The only thing that makes it not rural is the canal, because the canal opens up, it's not from some trees. Oop. The only thing I would say about that is he's he's done like a 180 and the sound was on my left ear. <clears throat> if he t he turned around as it was being as it was screaming, so you would think then it would start to pop into my right ear and left ear if he did a 180. He fa he, he turned to face it, so it would have been both ears, but it wasn't. That was weird. Yeah. I mean, if it was a bird, it's a bird. A giant bird. <laughs> bird, mate. I can. A dinosaur sounded like. Should have been a cool place to get some fucking photos. Let me get your bald spot. No, it would have been cool. <laughs> right here? Like. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. Give him your best pose. Okay. Right, I don't know if this is true, okay? And I've, 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 I've suggested it to a friend of mine, okay? But I've seen this video on TikTok that. I mean, I don't, I don't have to worry because I haven't got, I'm not going bold at all, which is great. But apparently, stopping shampoo, like shampoo altogether, makes your hair like it's a lot of cases makes your hair grow back. Okay, I've told my mate to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the results. I suppose. Is that yeah. Dipping? Yeah, sure. Yeah. What does the light look like, though? Looks tight. Is that your gangster look? No. <laughs> <laughs> Normal look. Hey, wait, let me give you the slow pan by. Alright, cool. Yeah. Sick. It's gonna make an amazing film one day. <laughs> yeah, B-roll. <laughs> he was one of Florida's first serial killers ever. And that's why the Devil's Tree is called the Devil's Tree. And also, um, apparently there's people in, like, cults. Yeah, I'm hearing that screaming too, mate. It's it weird. It's kind of like that noise again. Yeah. But it was way, like, yeah, like not as bassy. It was, like, high-pitched that time. Anyways, yeah, this was one of the first serial killers in South Florida, uh, early 1900s, I believe. And people still worship the tree. Like, cultists and Satanists go to the tree from time to time and, like, do rituals and ceremonies and shit there. They're these cultists and Satanists, whatever, mate. They're like, uh, Jesus Christ, like, what? What are you fucking on? What really? <laughs> what are you fucking on? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Why are you like, what goes through your fucking head? It's laughable. It really is. It's fucking laughable. You literally dress up, go into some random forest and start doing, like, seances and fucking cutting blood and shit. Like, fucking get a life, man. <laughs> get out. Go to the cinema. Yeah? I don't know. Stop surfing or something. I don't know, mate. Just fucking get a job. <laughs> so we've had hundreds of emails of people telling us, check out the tree. If you're in Florida, you should go to the devil's tree. That's that's why we're here. So there's your backstory. What I like, I'm sorry I keep on pausing it, but what I like about Mindseed is that every single video they do, 
always has a different feel to it, right? Always has a different feel, different tempo. It's really good. Very unique. Dude, that's gotta be it. Look how fucking big that thing is. What's, What's she saying? <laughs> actual tree it was gigantic i mean we knew that this was the one like as soon as we turned the corner because it was literally the biggest tree in the woods this has to be it bloody yeah. hell it looks like it from the pictures what that looks amazing what is it don't tell me it's bloody ble bleeding mate we got closer to the tree and it looked like somebody had attached like a little bit of women's hair on the side of the tree i mean even if someone just did that like fuck oh around. mate i wouldn't touch that no way i mean it could be, be it could be pubes mate, that long i don't know mate there's some fucking weird ass pubes out there i bet it's just weird it's like don't touch his pubes <laughs> mate lick it don't, well, don't lick it they say that people dark. do rituals and shit out here man that's the whole reason they wanted us to come check it. Knowing that people still go here to practice rituals, uh, that was a little bit weird to stumble across. Grim response. We started doing the yes, no prism. Uh, it was raining out. It was really starting to come down. And... Nonetheless, the prism works just the same. If energy comes to the left side, it'll light up green. Right side, it'll light up red. All right, this is your chance. This nice blue little pulsing light right here will give you an opportunity to answer our questions, yes or no. The left side over here is green. Is that thunder? The right side over there is red. If you come close to us, you'll light up one of those sides. Yes. Yes. You're already doing great. Thank you for coming near us. Shit. Once the green light goes out, I'll begin to ask you a series of questions. And you could do exactly what you just did to answer them. And if it's no, go to the other side. Oh, I could just I, I just imagine some sort of woman there, like, I don't know, in some wet clothing. And she's going, okay. <laughs> and then she walks to the right, and then she's, like, listening to him, and then walks back and just waiting to be, to be heard. Oh, God. Whoever just lit that up green, are you the spirit of someone that was killed here? No. No. Oh, Instantly. shit. Wow. Okay. Possibly be, and why are spirits always hanging around other spirits' death locations? I don't know. Let's see. Are you of a demonic nature? If you're not the spirit of someone who was killed here, is there a reason? What's happening with the fucking locusts and shit, mate? Or whatever it is, crickets. That you're here. Are you attached to these grounds before the events that happened? Have you been here longer than these stories? That's a good question. Oh, you know what I just thought of? Mm -hmm. The cop mm -hmm. that was the serial killer that yeah. took all the women out here, he got killed in jail. Oh. Are you the person that was killing and harming all these women and bringing them here? Is this your favorite place to hang out now in the afterlife? That'd be fucking creepy, the little green dude. Are you bound here because of the terrible events that happened and the terrible things you did here? No. It's not bound. No. Here. Okay. Oh, that's wild. That's this is uh, this is starting to be really quite quite creepy and effed up, mate. The more I'm getting into the, like, the, the story, the backstory of it, it's just like, what? Some, some weird-ass copper. No, literally, l literally, zero life. Taking all these women out there and killing them. Fucking hell, man. Crazy, let me get tight on that. Are you here because you enjoy being here? You what that? is that? Oh. I, I saw something. That other I, too. I saw something. What does that mean if it's orange on one side and green on the other? Move like in the fucking uh, 
in the bushes over there too. Huh. So it said yes when I said, do you like being here? Some of these answers were just Weird. bone chilling. Are you the cop? Are you the sheriff that was harming all these young women out here? Whoa, come on, bro. All right, it's getting creepy now. So what are we doing? Are we communicating with this guy now? Or? Yeah, I guess we're communicating with him now. Oh, fuck. Did you Let's go. Enjoy Let's go, Mindset TV. Boy, doing what you did to all these women? Was it fun to you? Yes. Wow, bro. This is getting fucking weird. Do you regret any of the terrible- I was just gonna say, ask him if he regrets any of it, mate. What the shit? Mate, we're connected, but we're not, because this was recorded three weeks ago, whatever, but whatever, mate. The fucking things you did. The He's gonna say no. Is there one single shred of regret that you have for any of your victims or any of their families? He's gonna say no. Silence. <sighs> why? Why? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't there be an answer to that? Why wouldn't there be an answer to do you regret? Because maybe it's sort of like um in the in the head of a psychopath. Maybe there is no regret or re like remorse or anything like that. It's just, it just is, you know? There's no, there's no um, pro or con to what, the, f of the act. It just is. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know, man. I'm thinking too fucking deeply into this shit. Would it's just a fucked up individual. That's what it is. Do you ever leave this location under any circumstances? What the fuck was that? Yes? Yes. Well, I didn't hear that. What, 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 what? Will you ever leave this location under any circumstances? Yes? Yes. What are the circumstances? How do we get Maybe getting summoned or something? Do that. I don't know. Maybe attached to someone? You know? Yeah. All right, I got a good God. question. Oh, mate, it's gonna be like a scene from bloody Fallen. Remember Fallen with Denzel Washington? One of the best films ever made. I got one. Sure. Yeah. Are you able to attach your energy to a human being if given the opportunity? Is it possible for you to attach to a person? I've never tried. Silence. Are you attached to any of the remains of your victims, and are some of them still present? Oh, so there might be some, might be some stuff out here. Are you still, are you still attached to some of the victims? What? Like a relic, like a necklace, or like a bracelet, or a piece of clothing, or... Oh, oh! Yes. It just flashed again, mate, bit of clothing. I wonder if there's a bit of clothing still laying around or something. You said yes when you said piece of clothing. Maybe there's like or an article. maybe some fucking hair. Yeah. Yeah, on the fucking tree, mate. Run! This is one of those sessions where the yes no prism was probably the most important tool we could have possibly had in our bag with us. This was direct responses to our questions. There wasn't some, you know, long periods of time between questions where we weren't getting answered and we were getting direct responses. Obviously, not the same one over and over again as well. So, like for us, this is piquing our interest. Are you happy that people come out here and pretty much worship the ground that you would kill? Of, of course he bloody is, mate. Of course he is. Fucking dickhead. Kill and hurt all these poor innocent women on? Great. Oh. No. What? Okay, well, that's just pissed on my fire. Why is he not happy about it? Why, why wouldn't he be happy about that? Because if he's not happy about it, that would, that would be, like, regret, right? That'd be regret of what he's done. Or maybe he just didn't want fame. Maybe it goes back to what I said. There's no pros or cons. It just is. He just did what he did because he just did it. You know? And he doesn't want the fame or anything like that. It's not fame. Hmm. So he doesn't like that. 
Would you rather be left in peace? Light it up green if you want to be left alone. Wow, Whoa. instantly, instantly, bro. Okay. It's such, th these, these answers are so strange. Like, they're not contradicting, they're just the opposite of what you would think a murderer would, 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 would want. Would answer, sorry. What if uh, you don't have a choice? Yes. Oh. Oh, you do? Oh. What? Oh, we just went nuts. Like provocation. No. He just, he just blinked He's it. still blinking it. Fucking stood right next to you, mate. Will you communicate with us if we use the Ouija board here? Don't do bloody Ouija boards, mate. I'm sure you know what those are. It's a little planchette, some letters. You could use our energy to spell something out. Would you use our energy to transfer a message if you had the opportunity? Yes. Oh, mate. Maximum going to another level, please! There's your answer. Run it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Let's give it a shot. Reflecting on all the questions that we've responded to, we are communicating with someone that was killed here. No. Are you bound here? No. Are you the sheriff that was harming all the young women here? Yes. Oh shit. Did he say that though? Did you enjoy doing what you did to all those women? Yes. But then one of his answers was, do you regret it? And there was no answer. So you would imagine he would say, yeah, I, I, no, I don't regret it. Hmm. I like this video, mate. It's raising lots of questions for you to answer me. Oh, he does. Oh, shit. Yeah. Multiple times. See, that answer there is very strange. He's clearly getting a buzz from what he does. But he doesn't want the glory about it. Maybe that's something to do with him being a copper. Maybe the pride of being a copper, like a policeman, outweighs, like... Maybe if he wasn't a policeman, maybe he had pride in being a policeman. So he didn't want to be embarrassed, like, yeah, I'm a policeman. I, you know, I should be doing it because I'm a policeman. And nah, 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 I don't know. I'm looking into it too deeply. The boy. You said that if we used the Ouija board, you would give us some kind of communication. Can you give us a sign? What is that? Hit me, baby, one more time. Really? Dude. It's moving it's straight not away? all the time that we feel the planchette move on the Ouija board. That's one thing that you guys have got to understand. We have probably hit, I don't know, what would you say, 30, 40, maybe? 40 locations already this season, and... Uh, 40 locations this season, mate. Jesus. Uh, maybe five of them <coughs> made it to the channel, but none of them had movement on the actual board until this location. Oh, it's going to yes? What? Yeah, you can see I'm not even barely touching. Sam, like my fingers aren't even in the position to go there. Wow. That's what she said. <laughs> yes. This is fucking hot. So hot right now. I'm surprised because I wasn't really expecting anything like that. How many women did you actually kill here? I'm gonna go for my gut instinct was seven, but I'm gonna go for eight. But I'm gonna go with my gut to stay with seven. I'm going to seven. Dude. 
Where's it going? Dude. Bro. What the fuck? It stopped on three. Bro. What the fuck? Bro, I am literally barely touching this thing. Sam, where's it going? Zero? Oh, 30? 30? I have never touched. It's still moving. 30 yeah, I even? still have my fingers on it. I know, it's like I'm having to intertwine. Oh know shit, is it 300 and some? I think it went to 30. R? Dude, I'm literally like... Yeah, I'm creeped out. Yeah. What is that over there? What's that? R? Anymore? H? Is that H? RUN! D? Rude? R-U-D-E? That's rude. I've experienced actual movement with my- So 30, mate. 30 women? Shit. Rude? What's the rude about? Did he think that the women were rude? My own hands on the planchette and the Ouija board one other time with Casey and this was the most powerful there was a point where I turned my hands upside down I was barely touching it are you calling us rude because we're doing this I'm so weirded out right now like I'm turning my hands upside down oh yeah I could do the same thing I'm so fucking weirded out right now it went to 30 it said yes to us at first, I thought it said rud because I didn't know that it stopped on the E and it said rude to us. What was that? It just, it just gave us a number and called us rude. I think we should go to Dubai. Is there any other message you would like to give us before we go? Oh, this mate. Is your last opportunity. This is where it goes to another level, mate. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Stop it. Stop it. It's, it's, it's trying to go off the board. Go back. Go to goodbye. Then it tried to move it off the board towards the tree. And to be honest with you, I don't know what any of that means. That's why I don't fuck with this thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know what any of it means. I, don't I didn't think he liked doing the Ouija boards at all. And the one time he did, he, like, didn't he go really fucking crazy or something? I don't know what any of it was intention was trying to do or if it was trying to pull us to the tree during a second to send some sort of weird energy or let something, I don't, I have no idea. It was trying to move it off the board, dude. That's not good. I've never had that happen, but that's not good. I'm pretty sure. It was going towards the tree though. It felt like it was trying to pull itself off of the board. And we kind of took that as a bad sign. And it had also just spelled out the word rude as if it was calling us rude. So we decided to say goodbye. We know what can happen if you don't close it out properly. So we wanted to make sure that we closed it out the way that we're supposed to. Yeah. And it was starting to get really dark. We wanted to find our way out of the woods. Oh shit, yeah. So we decided yeah. to pack up our stuff and leave. However, we knew that we captured a lot of evidence in the few tests that we did run, but we had no idea what the camera had captured when we were setting up at the tree. So it's a few- Oh fucking hell, mate. Are you ready? Are you effing ready, mate? Cause it's about to go down like Chinatown. Let's go. It is later and we're on the back end of like 12 locations in like 15 days. And Casey's going through footage and he's scrubbing through while we're driving. He just happens to pop, he pops his stuff out sometimes. He looks through it, especially if it's on his phone and like just checks and sees what we got. If there's something we could have missed, like you know, the order of events that have happened, like little things like that. And the next morning we go to get bullshit continental breakfast from the stupid hotel. And before I can even like wake up for that, which starts at 6 a.m., he's at my door knocking on it saying, dude, you got to look at this. I need to wake you up. You have to see what this is. Oh. <laughs> the following footage may cause extreme discomfort. And stick with you long after viewing this video. Good.
Wow. As if anybody's going to skip this fucking part. <laughs> Nobody's skipping this part, mate, okay? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Come out! Go to the other side. Oh, fucking hell, mate! Can you see that? You can, you can. Green, are you the spirit of both of us? I'm sure he sat with it a lot longer than I did, but I felt like all we did for one hour was just rewind, 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 and try to make sense of this six to eight second clip that we captured. Go to the other side. Hang on, let, 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 let me move my shit. Hang on one second, let me see. Whoever just lit that up green, are you- What the hell was that? It like blinked as well. The spirit of- Whoever just lit that up green, are you the spirit- And then it just sort of vanishes. I have watched this footage at least a hundred times now. I don't know what it is that was back in the woods. I have no idea. We need a maximum enhancement, please! It okay, thank you. It's got like something down here as well. Oh, and, and and over here, there's some sort of maybe a body of some sort. What the hell? What the fuck is that? It's definitely a shadow bastard, mate, but I don't know what type of shadow bastard it is, if you can hear me. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. I, I, okay, I'm getting quite freaked out now with, like, I don't know, tires out there rumbling about. I don't know. Honestly, I don't. Like, my mind. Shit. Mind goes towards a lot of weird shit that I know doesn't exist. It looks like it's an animal of some sort. I don't think it was a person. But at the same time, I don't know what kind of animal that could be. I, I've watched it. It's definitely not an alligator, mate. In slow motion, I've played it frame by frame trying to figure this out. And I, I don't really have an answer for this one. So any of you watching this, if you feel like maybe you could recognize what it is, please feel free to let us know. But Colton and I, we both, we have no idea what the hell we just captured in this scene. A shadow bastard. Go to the other side. Whoever just lit that up green, are you the spirit of- Yes, mate! You've gone and done it again, haven't you? Look at you! Come on the bloody podcast. Get the merch at kaspersite.com just Rambo it. Another epic, epic video from MindCTV, mate. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me all of the questions I asked, all of the sort of like puzzling things about this video. All right, answer them for me, please. Okay? And thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, how about leaving a little like? And you're new to the channel, how about subscribing? And even if you're not new to the channel, mate, check your bloody subscribe. It's free. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>